Suppose you made a series of bad decisions and find yourself in the basement of some house where an unlicensed casino is operating. Despite the concern of the situation, you can't help but notice that the number one seems to be rolled a lot more often than it should be on the craps table. Never wanting to miss an opportunity to spread the benefit of statistical analysis to the rest of the world, you speak up and say to the management, Excuse me, but I believe there's some question as to the reliability of the dice being used. If it's alright with you, I'd like to interrupt the action to perform a z-test on the proportionate times a 1 is rolled. Naturally, these blokes who are running the casino respond, Sure, we don't mind, do we, boys? That'd be splendid. This kid think he is. Why, thank you. As you're likely aware, one should be rolled on a fair die one out of every six times on average with random chance fluctuation. But I'm claiming the unknown population proportion of your questionable die exceeds the known population proportion of a fair die. Now, I'm going to begin the process by giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to assume the null is true and that your proportion of ones rolled equals that of a fair die. I plan to roll your die 60 times so that n times p is at least 10 expected successes, allowing me, of course, to use a normal distribution to represent the theoretical sampling distribution, the kinds of sample proportions produced due to random chance by a fair die. But let's roll the die 60 times, recording how often we get a 1. Here we go. Love the felt on your table, by the way. There's the last roll. So, after 60 rolls, we got a 1 16 times. Now, this is more than 25% of the time compared to the 16.7% proportion for a fair die. Are one samples not behaving like a typical sample proportion should if your die is fair? I'd like the p-value now, so I'm going to reach into my coat pocket really slowly, though. Don't be alarmed. It's not a weapon. It's my TI-84 graphing calculator. So I go to stat. I hit the arrow to get this. You can see the results pop up, and I can see the p-value is 0 0.0188. Like the z-test for means, this tells me that if the null were true and your die was fair, I'd only get a result at least this extreme in less than 2% of samples. Hence, I reject the null. The evidence suggests your die is bad. A one comes up too frequently. As you finish, you turn to the management to get their reaction, and to your amazement, they're all sleeping. Well, you recognize that not everyone's as passionate about statistics as you are, but at least this is your opportunity to quietly sneak out of the casino and return to a life you appreciate. In fact, you would almost say, ironically, in comparison to the game of craps, that your life resembles a paradise now that you're building such a strong awareness of statistics. You turn off your calculator, slip it back into your coat pocket, walk out the door just in time to witness the sunrise. The future looks bright. Wait a minute. That's not the sunrise. Those are flashing lights of a police car. I gotta get out of here.